Well, I think our legal system in our society has to take a change of course here. Again, like I mentioned before, the victim is always the one that suffers the most, and the criminal is always the one that gets away with everything. Linda Lovelace, born Linda Susan Borman, rose from obscurity to become an iconic figure in the adult film industry during the 1970s, primarily due to her role in the infamous film her life, marred by controversy, abuse, and exploitation, culminated in a tragic and premature death, leaving behind a complex legacy that continues to provoke debate and reflection on the intersections of fame, personal autonomy, and the adult entertainment industry. Early Life and Entrance into the Adult Film Industry Born Linda Susan Borman on January 10, 1949, in the Bronx, New York, Linda Lovelace's early life seemed unremarkable, far from the tumultuous future that awaited her. Raised in a working-class family with strict parents, Linda experienced a sheltered upbringing. Her father, John Borman, was a New York City police officer, and her mother, Dorothy Borman, was a homemaker. The Borman family was a typical representation of suburban life, and Linda attended Catholic schools, adhering to the conservative values instilled by her parents and educational environment. The transition from Linda's quiet childhood to her turbulent adult life began after a severe car accident at the age of 16. Suffering significant injuries that required a blood transfusion, Linda's relationship with her parents became strained during her recovery period. Feeling constrained by the strictures of her upbringing, Linda sought escape and freedom from what she perceived as an oppressive environment. In her late teens, Linda became more rebellious, engaging in relationships her parents disapproved of and gradually distancing herself from her conservative roots. Linda's life took a dramatic turn when she met Chuck Trainer, a charismatic but manipulative figure in 1969. Trainer quickly assumed a controlling role in Linda's life, and their relationship became abusive. Under Trainer's influence, Linda was introduced to the world of adult entertainment. Her entree into the adult film industry was a combination of trainers' coercion and the financial desperation the couple faced. In 1972, Linda, now known by her stage name Linda Lovelace, starred in a film that would become one of the most infamous and profitable adult movies of all time. Catapulted Linda to a level of notoriety and fame that was unprecedented for an adult film star. The film's success was attributed to its widespread appeal, transcending the usual adult film audience and becoming a pop culture phenomenon. Despite the film's success, Linda described her life during this period as being effectively imprisoned by Trainer, who she said controlled her every move and took the money she earned from her films. The early life and entrance in of Linda Lovelace is a tale of transformation marked by exploitation and control. From the conservative upbringing in a New York suburb to the glaring lights of adult film sets, Linda's initial journey into the world of adult entertainment was far from a willing or empowering experience. It set the stage for a complex life story, one that would oscillate between fame and despair, ultimately leaving an indelible mark on popular culture and the discourse surrounding the adult entertainment industry. Rise to Stardom Linda Lovelace's ascent to stardom was meteoric and unprecedented, largely catalyzed by her role in the 1972 adult film the film's release marked a significant moment in the cultural landscape of the United States, heralding the so-called Golden Age of and introducing Linda to the world as the new face of the adult film industry. It was a commercial blockbuster, earning millions and becoming a cultural phenomenon. Its success was attributed to its relatively high production values for the time and its attempt at infusing humor into the adult film narrative. The film was marketed as and attracted a diverse audience that included couples and celebrities, challenging the taboo surrounding adult films. Linda, as the lead, became an instant celebrity. Her portrayal of a liberated woman resonated with the revolution of the time. The film's success turned Linda into a household name, and she found herself at the center of a media frenzy. 
Her image graced magazine covers, and she was invited to high-profile parties and events. For a brief period, Linda Lovelace was the epitome of fame in the adult film world. However, the reality behind the scenes was far from glamorous. Linda later revealed that her participation in was not consensual, but the result of coercion and abuse by her then-husband, Chuck Trainer. She described her experience during the filming and promotion of the movie as one of fear, violence, and exploitation. This stark contrast between her public persona and private ordeal highlighted the problematic aspects of the adult film industry, particularly concerning consent and exploitation. After Linda appeared in a few more adult films, but none achieved the same level of success. Her fame from did not translate into a lasting career in the industry. By 1973, she had left the adult film world behind, and her subsequent attempts at mainstream acting were met with limited success. The film industry seemed unable to dissociate her from her adult film persona, limiting her opportunities. Linda's rise to stardom through and her subsequent experiences reflect the complexities of fame within the adult film industry. Her initial celebrity status was accompanied by significant personal and professional challenges. The film's success and its impact on her life were double-edged, bringing her notoriety, but also exposing her to exploitation and abuse. The legacy of and Linda's role in it continue to provoke discussion and debate. While the film remains a seminal work in the history of adult cinema, Linda's revelations about her experiences have cast it in a different light, prompting reflections on the darker aspects of the industry and the true cost of fame for those involved. In retrospect, Linda Lovelace's rise to stardom through and beyond was a complex journey, marked by both public adulation and private turmoil. Her story, emblematic of the era's shifting attitudes towards and fame continues to resonate, serving as a cautionary tale about the adult film industry and the precarious nature of stardom within it. Turbulent personal life, relationships, and abuse. The years following Linda's meteoric rise were dominated by her oppressive relationship with Trainer. Her allegations paint a bleak picture of her adult film career, describing how she was coerced into filming at gunpoint. Linda's narrative starkly contrasted the image of a liberated adult film star, revealing a life marred by exploitation and fear. In 1974, Linda's marriage to Trainer ended, but her struggles with relationships did not. Her second marriage to Larry Marciano in 1976 initially provided a semblance of stability. Together, they had two children, and for a period, Linda retreated from the public eye attempting to lead a more conventional life. However, the scars of her past were not easily erased, and this marriage, too, eventually succumbed to strain, ending in divorce in 1996. The abuse Linda endured was not confined to her relationships. It extended into her interactions with the legal system. In 1980, she was granted limited immunity in exchange for her testimony against Trainer for his involvement in organized crime. Her public image during this period became one of a survivor advocating against the adult film industry, yet her personal life remained fraught with challenges. She spoke of feeling manipulated by the media and certain feminist groups who sought to use her narrative for their own agendas. The constant presence of abuse and tumult in Linda's personal life offers a stark counter-narrative to her public persona. Beneath the veneer of an adult film star lay a narrative of suffering and exploitation overshadowed by relationships that were marked more by control than by affection. Linda's life, as revealed by her own accounts, serves as a sobering reminder of the personal costs that can accompany public notoriety, particularly within the complex and often exploitative landscape of the adult entertainment industry. The shift from stardom to activism the trajectory of Linda Lovelace's life took a decisive turn as she distanced herself from the adult film industry and repositioned herself as a vocal critic and activist against This transformation was as dramatic as her rise to stardom, highlighting a profound personal evolution. By the late 1970s, Linda had severed ties with the adult film industry and Chuck Trainer. Embracing a new identity, she began speaking out against 
Her autobiography, Ordeal, published in 1980, was a harrowing account that exposed the dark underbelly of her rise to fame. In the book and subsequent public appearances, Linda detailed the coercion and abuse she suffered, alleging that her involvement in and other adult films was non-consensual, driven by trainers' threats and manipulation. Linda's public condemnation of the adult film industry gained significant attention. She became involved with movements, aligning with notable feminists and activists. Her testimony was powerful and unsettling, challenging the notions of consent and agency within the adult entertainment industry. She became a key figure in the feminist anti movement of the 1980s, often sharing platforms with prominent figures like Andrea Dworkin and Catherine McKinnon. Linda's narrative resonated with the movement's agenda, providing a compelling and personal testament to the potential harms of... In 1984, Linda took her activism to a legislative level, testifying before the Attorney General's Commission on... also known as the Mies Commission... Her testimony was a poignant account of her experiences, intended to sway policy and public opinion against Linda argued that her films were a record of her abuse and that the industry was inherently exploitative, especially towards women. Linda's activism was not without controversy. Her shift from adult film star to activist was met with skepticism by some who questioned the veracity of her claims and her motives. The adult film industry and its proponents accused her of opportunism, suggesting her activism was a ploy for attention and financial gain. Meanwhile, some feminists criticized her for aligning with anti movements that they felt were anti and overly censorious. Despite the controversy, Linda's activism had a profound impact. Her story brought attention to issues of exploitation, consent, and abuse within the adult film industry. It sparked discussions and debates that resonated beyond the industry, influencing conversations about women's rights, autonomy, and the legal and ethical dimensions of... Linda's transition from an adult film icon to an anti activist represents a significant chapter in her life, one marked by personal transformation and public controversy. Her activism challenged societal perceptions of the adult film industry and raised important questions about exploitation, consent, and the commodification of... While her narrative was complex and contested, its influence on public discourse and the feminist movement was undeniable, cementing her legacy as a figure who transcended her stardom to become a symbol of a broader struggle for dignity and autonomy. Legal Battles and Financial Struggles Linda Lovelace's life after her departure from the adult film industry was far from tranquil. Despite her newfound role as an activist, her past continued to haunt her in various forms, particularly through legal battles and financial struggles that underscored her post-stardom years. One of the earliest legal challenges Linda faced was related to her autobiography, Ordeal. The book was a candid exposition of her experiences in the adult film industry, but it also led to legal disputes regarding the portrayal of certain individuals, notably Chuck Trainer. Trainer, whom Linda accused of abuse and coercion, denied the allegations and challenged her narrative, leading to a series of legal entanglements. Though Linda stood by her account, the legal battles were taxing, both emotionally and financially. Financially, Linda's life was in stark contrast to the image of wealth typically associated with stardom. Despite the massive success of Linda saw little of the profits from the film. Her financial gains from her brief adult film career were negligible, and she often stated that Trainer had taken most of her earnings. In the years following her exit from the industry, Linda faced significant monetary challenges. Her activism and public speaking engagements provided some income, but it was insufficient to ensure financial stability. Linda's attempts to gain financial independence were further complicated by health issues. In the early 1980s, she was involved in a severe car accident that resulted in injuries requiring multiple surgeries. The medical expenses, coupled with her inability to work during recovery, exacerbated her financial woes. Health issues would continue to plague Linda throughout her life, hindering her ability to maintain consistent employment and adding to her financial burdens.
The combination of legal and financial troubles led to a life of relative obscurity for Linda. She moved away from the public eye, settling in Colorado with her two children. The stark difference between her earlier life of notoriety and her later years of financial hardship was indicative of the volatility of fame, especially within the adult film industry. Linda's post-stardom experiences highlighted the precariousness of relying on such a career for long-term financial security. In the late 1990s, Linda attempted to revive her public profile and financial prospects through involvement in various media projects. She consulted on a biographical film about her life and participated in retrospective interviews. However, these efforts were short-lived and they did not significantly ameliorate her financial situation. Linda's ongoing legal battles and financial struggles present a sobering reflection on the realities faced by many who exit the adult film industry. Despite her fame, Linda's life was burdened by the repercussions of her past, underscoring the transient nature of stardom and the challenges of reinventing oneself after a career in adult entertainment. Her experiences serve as a cautionary tale about the industry's potential for exploitation and the importance of safeguards for those within it. Linda's struggles with the law and finances, far removed from the glamour of her earlier years, offer a poignant glimpse into the complexities and contradictions of her life, marked by a continuous fight for autonomy, dignity, and stability. Health Issues and Tragic Demise Linda Lovelace's later years were marred by health issues that not only affected her quality of life, but also foreshadowed her tragic demise. The car accident in the early 1980s, which necessitated multiple surgeries and a lengthy recovery period, was an early indication of the health struggles that would follow. In addition to the physical trauma, Linda also battled hepatitis, which further compounded her health challenges. The combination of ongoing medical issues and financial struggles took a toll on her, both physically and emotionally. Despite these setbacks, Linda continued to engage in advocacy work and public speaking when her health permitted, although these engagements became increasingly sporadic as her health declined. The most significant health crisis Linda faced came in 2000, when she was diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, a progressive lung disease that severely impairs breathing. The condition was debilitating, and Linda required constant medical care and attention. Her respiratory issues were so severe that she eventually needed a lung transplant, a complex and risky procedure. The diagnosis and ensuing health complications were a significant blow, not only to her already precarious financial situation, but also to her autonomy and ability to live an active life. Amidst her health struggles, Linda's spirit of resilience remained evident, she continued to advocate for her beliefs and engage with her supporters as much as her health allowed. However, her condition worsened, and in April 2002, she was admitted to a hospital in Denver due to severe respiratory distress. Tragically, Linda Lovelace's life came to an untimely end on April 22, 2002, due to complications from massive trauma and internal injuries following a serious car accident. She was 53 years old. Her passing was met with a mix of grief and reflection, as the public and media revisited her tumultuous life and legacy. The circumstances of her death, marked by health struggles and a tragic accident, mirrored the pattern of misfortune that had shadowed much of her life. Linda's demise brought renewed attention to her life story, with many reflecting on her transformation from an adult film star to an outspoken critic of the industry. The health issues and challenges she faced in her later years highlighted the vulnerability and fragility beneath her public persona, her life, with its highs and lows, served as a compelling narrative of survival, resilience, and ultimately, tragedy. In the aftermath of her death, Linda Lovelace was remembered not only for her iconic role in but also for her advocacy and the complex, often painful journey she had traversed. Her legacy is multifaceted, encompassing the realms of entertainment, activism, and public discourse on issues of exploitation, consent, and women's rights. Linda's health issues and tragic demise serve as a poignant conclusion to a life that was as controversial as it was influential, leaving behind a legacy that continues to evoke discussion and debate long after her passing. Posthumous Recognition and Legacy 
In the years following Linda Lovelace's death, her life and legacy have continued to garner attention and provoke discussion. Posthumously, Linda has been recognized not only for her iconic role in the adult film industry, but also for her transformation into an outspoken critic and anti activist. The complexities of Linda's life story have been the subject of various media portrayals, reflecting the enduring fascination with her persona. Notably, the 2013 biographical film Lovelace, starring Amanda Seyfried, brought renewed attention to Linda's life, portraying her journey from a naive young woman to a celebrated adult film star and subsequently to an advocate against the exploitation she experienced. The film, while criticized by some for its portrayal of events, nonetheless sparked conversations about the adult film industry, consent, and exploitation. Beyond cinematic portrayals, Linda's narrative has also been revisited in documentaries, books, and academic discussions. Her story is often cited in debates about the adult entertainment industry and its impact on its participants. Linda's shift from a celebrated adult film star to an anti p activist challenges simplistic narratives about the industry and highlights the complexities of consent and exploitation. The discussions surrounding Linda's legacy are not without controversy. Some critics argue that her posthumous recognition overly romanticizes her activism while neglecting the more problematic aspects of her life, including her later alignment with anti p movements that some view as anti and censorious. Others contend that Linda's narrative has been co-opted by various groups to serve their own agendas, whether it be the adult film industry defending its practices or anti activists pushing for censorship. Despite these debates, Linda's posthumous recognition has undeniably contributed to a broader discourse on women's rights and agency. Her life story, with its dramatic shifts and tragic undertones, continues to resonate with individuals and movements grappling with issues of autonomy, exploitation, and the dynamics of power within the adult entertainment industry. Linda Lovelace's legacy is multifaceted and continues to evolve. To some, she remains an emblem of liberation and a pioneer in the adult film industry. To others, she is a symbol of resilience and a cautionary tale about exploitation and the perils of fame. Her posthumous recognition has ensured that her story remains a subject of reflection and discussion, eliciting a range of responses and interpretations. In the years since her passing, Linda's legacy has continued to provoke thought and dialogue, cementing her status as a complex and enduring figure in popular culture. Her life story serves as a mirror reflecting societal attitudes towards fame and exploitation. As conversations about these issues evolve, Linda Lovelace's narrative remains a compelling point of reference, a testament to her enduring impact and the multifaceted legacy she has left behind.